Okay, today I'm at Heartland Bike Park and it's early November and the conditions are pretty good. A little bit wet in spots, but that's okay. And the next trail I'm going to do is one called Diaphragm Climb. Now I have posted a video in the past descending it. And it's considered a black diamond climbing trail. It's really not that difficult. There are some rocky gardens and stuff like that that you have to navigate. And then there's a little bit of a roll that's an optional roll right here. But I was surprised that I didn't have a, a video just specifically for this climbing trail which I do quite often as a part of a number of my different routes that I do here at Heartland Bike Park and what I'm trying to do as well is I've started uploading my videos from my channel to to trail forks because I tend to use trail forks as a resource for when I'm going to different areas or riding different trails that I've never ridden before. And from doing that, I was quite surprised how many trails here had very few videos attached to them. And if they did, not all of them were old, but like a lot of them are quite old. So. For those people that like to research the trail that they're going to ride to see what's ahead of them, this is sort of for you. So my channel is sort of meant to show trails both up and down and showing the, the entirety of the trail. So if it takes me 15 seconds to do the trail, the video will be 15 seconds. If it takes me half an hour, an hour in some cases, when I was at Moab, then the video is an hour. So, it gives you a perspective, like a lot of videos out there just show you little portions of trail and not, you know, a complete trail. So, again, it's, my viewership probably is more for those people that are somewhat beginners and or intermediate that like to research and see what the trail looks like. Most people that are advanced or expert are certainly not going to be impressed by any of my videos because I don't really get a lot of air. I don't go very fast. I'm just an old guy that rides a bike. And then I started doing the, the GoPro thing when my wife and I went to Moab last year. I found that I quite enjoyed it. My videos don't have a huge amount of production value. I'll do some editing and stuff like that, but typically what I do is I show my successes and I show my failures. And then I'll probably usually just do the section that I failed again to see if I can complete it or not. And if not, I just move on. So this is one of a, a few climbing trails here at Heartland. It actually runs pretty close to a more intermediate climbing trail called Painless, which is sort of just to the north of this trail. And that's quite popular. This one can get a little rocky and stuff like that. and A tiny bit of exposure maybe. 
there's one portion coming up that tends to be the most difficult portion of the trail. Just because it's a little bit of a grunty climb. So when it's wet, it gets a little slippy too. And it's coming up right now, so I'll be quiet for a second and see if I can make it. Okay, got the first portion, and then I geared down a little bit. We ain't gotta get over these wet boots. Very good. So to me, that's the, definitely the most difficult part, and especially in the wet. And carrying on, but we're not finished. Rock roll. Very good. Tiny bit of a reprieve here. Wind through some trees. And now from here, if you go, we're not finished, the diaphragm climb, but if you go straight on, you go up to hot tamale, green ribbon, and organ donor. But we turn right, and we stay on diaphragm climb. I just completed hot tamale. It's a few minutes ago. It's a Tuesday today, and I think I've only seen one person. On the, on the mountain. There's a few people in the parking lot. To the end. And that's it, that's the end of Diaphragm Climb, Black Diamond Climbing Trail here at Harton. Very good.